so it was this Muslim brother, and he was a handsome Muslim brother, you know, and he always was clean. He had a job, and he had his self together. And but he used to always go out and give the dawah. He used to always go out and teach about Quran and the Sunnah. He constantly goes out and teaches about the Quran and the Sunnah. And he he spoke in front of hundreds and thousands of people. Sometimes he speaks in front of people alone. Sometimes he speaks, he spoke to his family, he spoke to his friend, he even spoke to different people on his job, and he practiced the deen, the Islam, and he constantly asked, he constantly asked Allah, please, Allah, give me a wife. He begged Allah for a wife at night when it's time that your prayers get answered at night, the tahajjud. He begged Allah, but he still didn't never see himself with a wife. He started to see many people get married, men and women get married at his masjid. He continues to go out and give da'wah. He's giving da'wah. He's teaching people about God. He's teaching the people about religion. He's teaching people about good manners. But to no avail, he, he don't see himself getting married. Years pass. He didn't get married. So he met some women that he wanted to get married to, but it didn't work out. They didn't want to marry him for some reason. But he continued to go out and give the dawah. He was teaching and teaching and teaching people about God. He teach people about Allah. So one day, he's crying, crying and crying and crying. Will I ever get married? Why? Everybody else getting married. It's people in this congregation who got four wives. Why, why I don't have one? He's crying tears. So uh, a wise and intelligent Muslim man walked up to him and said, why are you crying for? You are practicing the deen. You are blessed with this deen of Islam. You're blessed with the, with the truth. Why? Why are you crying like this? The man looked up to him and said, I always wanted to get married and I always wanted to have children and I always wanted, you know, to have a Muslim wife. Why I can't get a Muslim wife? Even the non-Muslims, some of them are dating our Muslim women. They're taking our Muslim women from it. And I'm I'm looking and it, it's Muslim brothers here in this congregation. They got three wives. They got four wives. And I don't have no wife. Why? Why? Why am I being tested? I, 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 I want God to favor me. So the Muslim brother that was wise and intelligent, he said to him, you are being favored. You, 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 you think of Allah. You remember Allah every day. He said, yes, you worship Allah. You offer your salah. You remember Allah. You're able to come to the masjid every day. You're able to give dawah every day. You're able to, 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 to speak in a way we can understand you in our language. You're able to speak another language, which is Arabic. You're able to read Quran. You're able to offer salat. You're able to talk to Allah. You're able to make dua. You're able to give the dawah in the way you give the dawah. Many people, many people claim shahada. They, many people became Muslim from you teaching them about Quran and the Sunnah, God has blessed you with a gift. He has favored you. Don't worry. If Allah will for you to have a wife, you're going to have it. If Allah did not will for you to have a wife, you will never have a wife. So the man was upset when he said that because he said, I will never have a wife. He said, don't worry. You know why? Because Allah, the Most High, the most beneficent, most merciful, has blessed you with the gift to give da'wah. Maybe that's your purpose. Maybe that is your purpose, to go out and give the da'wah and to teach and help people, to teach people the truth about Almighty Allah, to teach them the truth about Allah, to barakah wa ta'ala, to teach them the truth about God. So he was like, you know what? This brother is right. And the brother that told him that was a student of knowledge. He studied under sheikhs and he studied under a 
highly intelligent Muslims. So the moral to the story is if you don't have something that another Muslim have, or if you are a, a person that's listening to this that is that may not be a Muslim, if you are if you don't have something that somebody else have that's a blessing that God blessed you with, don't cry, don't be upset because God has blessed you with a blessing. You might not know that you have a blessing that God blessed you with, but he blessed you with a a blessing. The almighty creator blessed you with a blessing that another person might not be blessed with. So when you are doing something that is a blessing, be be happy and, and love that God gave you something gave you a gift and a blessing and don't give up on worshiping God because you may not think that that do I is answered that do I might be answered in the hereafter he may have a whole aim he may have a a, a wife in our gender a beautiful flawless wife in our gender with a beautiful body a beautiful face beautiful jewelry beautiful garments in our gender so, brothers and sisters, don't give up. You might find that Muslim husband, sisters. You might find that Muslim sister, Muslim Muslim brothers. Don't give up. And if you are someone that are not even uh, in Islam, God is almighty. God is the most beneficent, most merciful. God is going to bless you what is best for you to have. So please don't give up on doing righteous deeds. Please don't give up on praying to God. Please don't give up on God. Because the almighty God, the most high, is the best of planners. Thank you for listening.